Hey, Facebook. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you all for tuning in this evening. I'm trying to get the camera straight. For everybody that's tuning in, my name is Jasmine Womack, and I am an empowerment implementation strategist. It's my job to empower professional women and mothers to take a leap of faith to invest in themselves, walk in their purpose, and start their business. And then I show you how to do it. I teach you the importance of establishing a relationship with God, how to be an effective wife, mother, and how to build your business while working a nine to five. Hi, Brittany while working a nine to five through product creation, marketing, sales strategies, and business basics. See, many women think that their life is over after kids come into play, like they have to put everything on hold and for, for seven, 15, 16, 17 years until their kids get older. But I'm here to tell you that you can do it and I'm here to show you how to get it done. So I wanna thank you all for coming on this evening. Um, tonight, as I share three ways for mompreneurs to maximize their day. Now, the mompreneur mar market is very popular now, um, and basically what it is is just a woman with children, a mother who generally will work a nine to five and have a business. Sometimes when people think of mompreneurs, um, you can all that is also considered a stay at, a work at home mom, a mom who works from home. You know, so she's a mompreneur as well. But if you have kids and if you're working and you are an entrepreneur, you're a mompreneur, okay? And a lot of times it's very difficult for mompreneurs to juggle marriage, to juggle having kids, to juggle trying to establish a business, especially if it's new and if your business has, you know, has some success to just to keep it going. And um, especially if you're working a nine to five, like those are major. And hi, hi, Tara, thank you for joining. Those are major and a lot of women um, get burnt out, they get exhausted. Sometimes they just feel like it's too much to do and so they just quit. And I don't want that to be you. Um, a year ago, I wrote my book, 20 Pearls of Wisdom, A Woman's Got to Self-Preservation. And from August to December, I made about $5,000 in book sales. But within the past year, I've taken that one book and created three streams of income. And it's profitable and it's working for me. And I'm doing this in addition to my nine to five. I'm not one to like brag or boast or anything like that or put my business out there, but this month I'm slated to make about $2,2500 in addition to my nine to five. And so if I can give you all two tips and strategies to help you see that type of financial growth, I mean, because who couldn't use an extra thousand, an extra $2,000 to whether it's to furnish your house, whether it's to do some things extra for your kids, whether it's to put it into your savings, you know, who would turn that down? So. You know, if I can help you all to, to see some growth in, in your businesses while you are balancing your lives, that, then that is what I want to do. And that is what I'm here to talk about tonight. So I'm going to share with you guys three tips that I use to maximize my day with a husband, with four children, three of whom, whom live with me, ages 1, 5, and 17, with a 9 to 5, and with a very, very busy um business a publishing biz a, pu a book publishing business um and a membership group and i'm doing also online courses for new business owners so it's 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 jumping okay so the first thing that i do is to prioritize that's the first thing that i do i prioritize faith first family fitness and then finances and business and some, some of you may ask, why fitness before finances and business? And the reason why I said it is because if you're too sick, if you're not taking care of yourself, if, if you're too stressed out, if you're overweight, if you're not eating the right things, then those things are going to weigh on your health to the point where you're going to have to take time off of work to go to doctor's appointments or because you're sick. And your health will affect your business and your finances. So that's why I put fitness prior to um Finances. So faith first. And when I say that, I, I always reference Proverbs 31, how the Proverbs 31 woman, she was a jack of all trades. She was a wife. She was a mother. Her house was immaculate. Her family wore the best of clothing. She owned land. She went and traded, you know, um, 
in the city market. She she conducted business in addition to taking care of her family, and in, in, in addition to, take, to taking care of her family. But if you read the scripture all the way to the end, it says that she honors God. Like that's what she did first and foremost. So one thing that I do, and one thing that um that we do in Pearls of Power, which is my membership group, is that we practice or we try to put into practice the habit of starting your day with some form of spiritual meditation, whether that's listening to um, a sermon, whether that is reading your Bible, whether it, that's going into prayer, um, whether whether that is, you know, just kind of sitting in silence and trying to establish that relationship with God. Starting your day off with some form of spiritual activity will help to set your tone for the rest of the day. And then when you make it a habit, you'll start to get things literally downloaded into your spirit. You'll be clear. You'll be have clarity in your mind and in your spirit about what things to do, which directions to take. So definitely prioritize your faith. Family next business does not become before family. So make sure that you put the phone down. Give your kids some undivided attention. Take care of them. Give your spouse some time. Okay, and then fitness definitely make sure that you are eating right and that you're making time to get at least 30 minutes of exercise in every single day. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, then you can't take care of anybody else, and you surely can't take care of anybody else if you're sick, if you are, you know, ill. You know, if you're not feeling well from having aches and pains and all this and that. Hey, Lakia, thank you for the likes, okay? And, and, and then is your business. And one thing that I do is that I time block, which is what I'm going to number two, time blocking and scheduling. So I recently got a planner, and I, ta I shared this with my Pearls of Power members. I recently got a planner that has literally the day divided in by hours. You know, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and just going all the way down during the day. And I'll write in what I have to do at which time, whether it's for my business, whether it's for work, or whether it's for my family. And that helps me to stay on task. Now, if that time has passed, if I've gotten caught up doing something, and I was supposed to, say, do something like at 4 p.m., and that time has passed, and I have to go on to the next thing. And that's actually a strategy that I learned from BB. She probably might come on and... Um, <laughs> watch the replay but that's actually the strategy that I learned from her I knew about the time blocking but just in terms of keeping going keeping your day going um, I learned that from her and that really really helped okay and schedule it okay you have to schedule your day out you can't just say oh willy-nilly you know just keeping all these things inside of your brain and trying to remember all the things that you have to do because what that what that causes is stress you're gonna stress yourself out so you need to do a brain dump get all this stuff out of your spirit get it out of your mind and put it on paper put everything that you have to do on paper so that you can just go back and refer to it so that you're not stressing out trying to remember every single thing that you have to do okay and number three is that I optimize the time in my day so if you've been watching me for a while you may have heard me say this before so that means like during lunch I'm working on something that doesn't mean that it has to be extremely detailed but it could be as simple as going to engage on my Instagram it could be something as simple as that. it could be writing a blog you know while I'm eating okay um, optimizing the time of my day getting up 30 minutes earlier before my family going to bed a little later like at 9 o'clock but really by 8 8 30 my kids are in the bed Okay, if my husband's working late, then that gives me that time, whether it's an hour or two to work on my business. So, and, and you don't have to do it every single day. You can say, okay, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'm going to get up 30 minutes early. I'm going to go to bed an hour later, and I'm going to work towards my business. Hi, Robin. Thanks for tuning in. So, if you do that, then, you know, at the end of the week, that's what um, five and a half hours that you put towards your business and that's a lot better than none and it's a lot better than stressing yourself out trying to cram it all in okay so those are just some things that I do and I hope that um, this is helpful to you um, if you try it out please let me know now I do have a free checklist of about nine it's about nine tips 
um, that you can maximize the time in your day if you are a mompreneur. And if you would like this free checklist, you can go to www.authorjasminewomack.com slash freebies. And I'm going to type it in here. And you can go here to get your free checklist. Author Jazz, I'm typing it in, y'all. slash freebies and you will see it there and once you put your email address in the um, checklist will come directly to your email so definitely make sure that you take the time to check it out and then get back with me and let, let me know if it's helpful for you try to implement some of the strategies in your life and see how I like it see how you like it see how it works for you and um just shoot reply to the email and let me know what you think about it, okay? I will see you guys later. Thank you for um, tuning in. Hi, Joan. Does anybody have any questions before I leave? And I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, no lie. Like, this is how I'm able to manage life with a husband, with children, working a nine to five, publishing books doing the digital classes, mentoring. Um, this, this is how I'm able to do it. And these are the top three things that I do on a daily basis. So if nobody has any questions, um, oh, you're welcome, Kim. Make sure that you go out and check out um, that free checklist, okay? It's at www.authorjasminewomack.com slash freebies, F-R-E-E-B-I-E-S, okay? You guys um, have a lovely evening. I have some books to go edit, so I will talk to y'all later. Bye.